What's going on guys? This one's gonna be a real short one. I got a comment a couple videos back about the yaw sensor and I'd actually recorded an entire piece on this. It was gonna be in, included in the uh, race prep video but I just kind of got sidetracked and I forgot to mention it. So in this one I'm just gonna briefly explain what it is and how to disable it and yeah we'll try try to make this not a 25 minute rant so anyways <laughs> the yaw sensor is a little sensor that lives right about here right underneath this trim and what it does is it will tell the computer um it's basically like an accelerometer so it can tell you know sideways movement front and back and if you disable that it will fully disable vdc and uh, traction control so if you've ever pressed that button this will basically turn off vdc by about 70 percent but if you ever go around a corner really hard or break the tires loose, you'll feel the computer lowering power and whatnot. So this is really just an experiment. Uh, a lot of the information I was going off was from the G35 350Z world. And there are some differences. I haven't done a whole lot of testing. I don't do a lot of thrashing the car other than at the track. Um, so in the G35 350Z world, they will disable the yaw sensor. And that allows them to go around corners and, you know, you know, really uh, beat on the car without having the computers interfere too much. But one of the other things that they do is they will cut one of the wires from the ECU to the brake uh, lamp. And what that does is it allows you to do a standing burnout. Now, in this car, when I disabled the yaw sensor, at least at the track, maybe on dry ground it would be different, but at the track, and you can see this in the last few videos, it absolutely rips burnouts. Like 5,000, 6,000 RPM, you know, no problem. And I'm on the brake, so... I think uh, I think they are a little bit different, but anyways, um, yeah, so to disable them, and I, I actually am going to cut back to some of the footage uh, that I previously recorded and just kind of talk over it. So, but yeah, I, anyways, to, to get in there, it's actually quite easy, a little trick. I just stick my finger underneath here and just gently pulling up, just gently, That'll get you up there, and then you can just kind of slowly peel it up along here. It might be a little bit harder if you've uh, never removed this. I remember being a little bit trickier last time. But anyways, you are going to, uh, yeah, sorry. I'm just trying to visualize this in my head. So yeah, we're gonna be cutting back to some older footage now. But uh, yeah, you're gonna pull this up, and there's gonna be a few screws underneath here. Actually, you know what you can do? You can go back to my Grom audio video. I know it is super long and I included all my mistakes and it is very lengthy, but you can skip ahead and kind of get an idea of how to strip this whole thing down because I removed all this stuff in, uh, in that video. But really, all you have to do is get this up, take out a few screws, and then there's actually a hidden screw. Let's see if I can even see it. You can kind of get that down there. But yeah, there's one on each side here, one on that side as well. And you just need a flathead or a clip remover. It's just like a little uh, piece of plastic that's painted to be the same trim remove that and i believe it's either a phillips head or a 10 mil underneath that remove those two and then you're going to get in the back here and you're just kind of pulling up on the whole assembly and you'll be pulling back and up and what that does is it will free up these clips these clips that are in here this will all pop out and then from there i'm definitely gonna have to put the video on the screen to remember but uh there is a little sensor right in the middle now what what i did is i just unplugged it but you could find the power wire to that and make a switch so that you could go back and forth and just have that somewhere in here and that will give you the best of both worlds if you're like me the traction control is very dated and it just had to go so i just i just disabled it fully and on this car you will have a slip light as well as vdc off so this button will no longer work and it will be disabled fully and that lets you uh, you know, do burnouts, um, thrash the car. Again, I don't know if it will let you do a burnout on dry ground. I'm not sure if that's fully disabled. Uh, you might have to do the brake light mod it for that as well. But at the track, in the water box, I'd had no problem. So anyways, I just wanted to show you how to disable the yaw sensor. Um, hopefully this made some sense with the uh, previous footage in there. But anyways, I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.